And uh, maybe I just bought a good luck charm for Longhorn <laughs> fans. This is our new addition to the KVU sports team. It's Bevo 26. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's here and he's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you mention bringing to the table, and I was like, oh, I hope she tells us what she's bringing to the table. But our new guy, Mevo, is here uh, for moral support mainly, and, and we'll see if, if he works out and how it goes today. Uh, big day, Big 12 play, new big guest, and let's talk about Tyler. Um, what to expect on the field? They're opening Big 12 play, and this is when things really get serious. What can we learn from the team early on? Well, Jeff, first of all, what I learned this morning is that the weather is absolutely perfect you know how I know that? You're wearing a suit. That means it's not hot. I think the weather will increase a little bit, but it's not going to be that deadly heat that we saw in that first game against Louisiana. This team against Texas Tech, it's the opening of Big 12 play. Clean slate, Jeff, and that's an opportunity for Texas because right now nine games remain starting today against the Red Raiders. Clean slate to see where they can go, where Steve Sarkeesian can take them through Big 12 play. Those first three games, they matter, but they don't really matter. It's time now for the Longhorns to get in the win column, to kick off Big 12 play on the right foot. You know, you're speaking of that, that really matter. That's why the suit is out. Yeah. You know, it, it's business time now, so I got to break out it's my business, business gear. All seriousness, I told a few other members of the media, I'm not wearing a suit until we get highs in the 80s. The high is like 87 today, so I guess I'm wearing a suit. Uh, Tyler, Emily, something else that we chatted about really is how interesting Coach Sark has been with his practice times and practice locations, mixing them up. Sometimes they practice out of DKR, sometimes they practice in the indoor facility, sometimes in the outdoor practice field, and they bounce the practice times all around. Tyler, first 11 a.m. kickoff of the season. Do you think that the interesting way that Coach Sark structures practice will pay off today? Well, Jeff, that's the big question. Coach Sark all throughout fall camp, like you just said, has moved around practice times for this very start time. 11 a.m., it's early. Fans are starting to file through here, but these fans are trying to get awake, and you know what that means? The players are trying to get awake, too. But they oh, practice. I thought they meant kegs and eggs. Is that not what that meant? Okay, all right. They need some breakfast tacos in their system because they're hungry. But again, this early start time, Coach Sark has preached that, and they've walked through that throughout fall camp, throughout the season. So they should be prepared for this early start time and how to rearrange their game day routine. But the big question today is, will that have an impact, and will that actually work today? Will it work? You know, on the field, the big will it work question is about the UT run game. Emily, you and I have both seen that UT run game for, for years, and yeah. this is the best it's looked, I think, since we've been here. They're a top 15 rushing offense in the nation. Tech, though, has a top 10 rushing defense in the nation. Who do you think is going to have the edge in that battle tonight? Honestly, I mean, I haven't seen Tech play yet in person, but judging by the first three games, they might have that top whatever defense. I don't see anyone taking down Texas's offense right now in their run game. When you got guys like B. John Robinson running like that, I really can't see anyone taking him down. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, <laughs> speaking, speaking of seeing anyone, Somebody's did you guys see Brian Mays just walk right behind us and not see him? Oh, oh, Brian. Where'd he go? No, nah, he's not coming back. Brian Mays walked behind us, didn't say hello. I'm going to text him and meet up with him. In oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, see him there. We know that he's going to predict the Longhorns win. He is wearing burnt orange. He's Longhorns through and through. I want to know what you guys think is going to happen tonight, though. Who's winning this game? What's the score going to be? And why? Tyler, let's start with you. Brian Mays was winning with those clean, cool-looking aviator glasses, and I think that's what Steve Sarkeesian and this Texas Longhorns team will look like today on the field. 34-31, Longhorns beat the Red Raiders for the fourth consecutive time. They start Big 12 play out with the victory, which is huge. And the over under 62, so that means I'm taking the over, and I'm saying Texas Tech covers because the Longhorns are favored by nine. All right, sounds good. So you have the Longhorns winning, but Tech covering. Emily, who's going to win? What's the score and why? Jeff, I'm not about to drop $20 on Bevo 26 <laughs> if Texas isn't winning this one. I'm going to be real upset. I got the Longhorns winning it. Final score, 35-28. Like we were talking about earlier, just their run game was incredible in the last matchup against Bryce. So I don't see Texas Tech, even with their defense, being able to take that down. Yeah, you know, I agree. And earlier in the week, I was agreeing with you point for point, saying 35-28. But we have our good luck charm here. JP, can we, can we zoom in on the good luck charm? I mean, that good luck charm has to be worth at least, what, three, four points? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick uh, 20 with 20 bucks. 20 bucks. That's what it's worth. Okay, so I'm going to change my prediction. I'm going Texas wins this one 
24. Okay, so I am saying I am saying they cover. Okay, I have Shane showing both sides. I think the good luck charm is here, and and we're gonna see it in full effect, guys. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online here on KVU, and uh, we can't wait to get in there and see what Texas has to deliver. Let's go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what's happening outside of the stadium just hours before the Longhorns kickoff Big 12 play against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Yeah. 